In this video, you'll learn how to make an electromagnet. It's quite simple to do. The first thing we need is a microwave oven transformer. You should sew it and get the wires out. We need just the primary winding. We don't need the secondary winding. Be careful, don't damage the primary winding. I just plugged it in and look what's happening with it. What would it be like when I try to use it? Alright, it's testing time. You can also use different voltages, such as 12 volts, 24 volts and 36 volts, even 220 volts. You can use either variable or constant current, both will do. Now I'm attaching it to the laptop's battery and I'm going to see how it will work with the 12 volts. I take the nut and break it with the door. Put it in here and... See, the nut is broken. Maybe electromagnet can deal with something more tough. Ninja Turtles, where are you? No ninjas. That's a release button. Push it, it will switch off the power. So that you can drive the magnet off a thing. Now I'm going to use 220 volts to increase its power. And all of a sudden, the Chinese wire didn't make it. Do you see it? Wow, have a look at it. <laughs> This wire looks like a snot now. Well, we have to use some better wires. That's a pigtail, film it. It's absolutely obvious that if we increase the voltage, the power of the electromagnet will grow. Sounds like fun. I feel like magneto, cause every single piece of metal flies up. Soon we are going to magnetize something very special. And we show you the real power of this magnet. What do you think it will be?